Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this Unity video I wanted to try to introduce to you the concept of audio sources and audio clips, or in other words, basically adding sound and music to your game. Now, an audio source is attachable to any game object you have, so typically that would just be going to add component and you would type in audio source, you don't have to create a separate script for it, it's just right there and defaulted into Unity. And you're going to get one of these, which has uh, several options available. One includes setting a default audio clip, the sound or music that it's going to play by default. Um, you also notice that play on awake is checked by default, which means that as soon as, um, uh, I, I believe basically the scene loads up and that audio source is included in the scene, it's going to go ahead and play that. And also looping for music loops or sound effects that you may want to play more than once. You can optionally check that here. Uh, of course, all of those settings you could set inside of a script as well. So one thing you probably are going to do on occasion is actually set an audio clip or a series of audio clips um, in your scripts that can actually apply to the audio source. So you can have multiple audio clips for one audio source. Uh, for instance, if I go down here to this load screen object, um, which is part of the canvas UI, and it, it contains a lot of uh, basically buttons and that kind of thing under it. Um, in the script, I have it set up so that uh, you can actually set a audio clip right in the script. So we'll go ahead and show what that looks like. I'm not actually sure if I uh, use that audio clip for anything, but nevertheless, it's located there as well. So over here in the menu screen, uh, you can see that we have public audio clip action complete. You'll note that whenever you set a variable or a object instance over here to public, that it's going to show up inside of the inspector. So that would mean action complete over here because public audio clip action complete. So that's what you get in the inspector corresponding with that. Um, now this specific instance of action complete was meant that whenever a button or uh, basically whenever a triggered event completes, which could be uh, maybe hitting the load screen button and it pops up, that it would play an audio clip. Um, and what you would do having this set up is you would drag this sound into audio clip and then in your code, you would find a place that you want to play it. And what you would type in order to play the audio source would just be the name of the audio source. Of course, just like anything else you're going to reference in code, you do have to get the component on it. And you would do audio source dot play. You can also uh, change the clip on the audio source by doing audio source dot clip equals the name of your new audio clip. So it could be action complete. And that would be a very basic way of how you change the sounds that are going to play in the audio source. Um, a really typical example of that would be if you need the music to change, but it's not necessarily changing into a new scene where you need completely new audio sources altogether. Now, what you will note is that any object inside of your Unity scenes can have an audio source. You can have as many audio sources as you want, but you can only have one audio listener. So the audio listener, by default, is attached to your camera, and that is the, uh, well, whatever you want to call it, the script, the tool, that um, allows those audio uh, clips, as they're being played at the sources, to be detected and put through to your speakers as the game player. If you ever try to have more than one audio listener, you'll get notified in the console. Um, it basically, it'll bug out. It'll let you know that you're only supposed to have one. And I'm not really sure about what issues that can cause, but you want to try to avoid that. So um, now I'll just go ahead and show this scene. It's my main title screen, Work in Progress. Um, so what's going to happen when I play this scene is two things. One, I have an object here called main title text, which is audio source and a clip. Uh, every time a character gets typed out to the screen using this one character at a time text UI script, uh, it's going to play the ba sound. So basically every character equals one ba. And then on the canvas, I attached an audio source for the music. 
So we'll have music and we'll have audio playing or basically a sound effect playing as the title screen text gets played. So let's go ahead and show that real quick. Okay, so uh, you should have heard it. Every letter that gets typed plays the bow sound and you can hear the music in the background. So hopefully that gives you a pretty basic overview of how audio sources and audio clips work within Unity. I hope this tutorial helped you out. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, go ahead and find links for that down below, and I'll see you in my future videos.